representing a landlord in the current environment where tenants are seeking both rent relief and future rent reductions to ease recovery, are there any new or modified lease provisions that you would recommend a landlord request in return for rent relief in order to minimize the consequences of a future repeat of recent events on the landlord? Oh, that's a good question. And that might take a couple hours all on its own to, to really dive deep into that. I think in terms of, so I, I won't get into too much micro detail on leases, but I think in terms of broad categories, um, first of all, we all hope it's another hundred years before we see another pandemic like this. But I think some of the issues around, um, you know, interruption of operations. So for retail businesses, I think those concepts around go dark and continuous operations, because this was an interesting crisis in that it, it pretty much uniformly affected all businesses. I mean, really other than medical providers and grocery stores, almost every other type of business and really almost everywhere in the country and everywhere in the world was affected. Um, so that's, I, I think there's gonna be some discussion around what those provisions look like. Um, I think specifically for tenant or for landlords rather, they especially because we don't know what the leasing world is going to look like. I think there's a sense among a lot of office operators that, hey, we've been operating really well from home. Let's just not have office expensive offices anymore and send everybody home. I'm not sure that's going to be a long term change, but that could be. So I think for a lot of landlords locking in term, I think short term leases will be attractive to tenants, but I think landlords in exchange for lower rents might be looking for more security on the length of the term. You might see more 10 year leases instead of five year leases. I think early termination provisions might be, you know, harder to come by. Landlords might be more stingy on those or they might come with hefty um, termination fees. Mm -hmm. So I think those are some of the areas. Term seems to be very important. Um, staying open. I think you might see a requirement that if you can't stay open, you have to have some sort of online presence if possible. I think we've all experienced, you know, the restaurants that maybe were more mom and pop and not tech savvy, all of a sudden overnight became tech savvy, either developed their own technology or got on Grubhub or other food delivery means. And that was how they hopefully will stay in business. So you, you may see landlords requiring retail tenants to be more, um, to have more avenues of sale that would not, if there is an interruption in their ability to physically stay open, that they'll have more avenues to generate revenue. Um, and I, just as an aside, one area I didn't cover in this, and again, could be a topic of a whole conversation, were retail leases that have what's called a percentage of rent clause that says basically, we'll give you a little bit lower rent, but we'll take a cut of your revenue. We're so confident that this is gonna be a great location for you. You're gonna have all sorts of revenue. So, and there's usually a formula, you know, once you hit this amount of revenue, we get X percent any above that amount. Um, I did run into a few of those sorts of leases and how we restructured those. You may see those fall out of favor. I think the trend has been away from those anyway in retail. I wouldn't be surprised if those sort of die a, a quick death now because they became so obsolete in this type of a, an environment. 